so when you look at the passage you may not be able to identify what it is but with the title you can sometimes predict so once when you put lot of efforts in order to understand just one and a half paragraphs then it is obviously energy draining even if you have the habit of reading the passage first it is better you go to the questions first hello everyone i am dr shalini professor of english vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore today we are here to learn about one of the language component sessions that is prescribed for your third sem bba the tips and tricks that are required for you to read properly and get that four marks that is prescribed for you okay so basically speaking the tips and tricks this will include uh, how do you read it so how do you read it how to read then where to start where to start reading okay do you have to read the passage first or what should you do where do i start in order to stop wasting time i should not waste time uh, just to get four marks at the max i can spend 2 to 4 minutes in order to secure that four marks so that we are going to understand that is in the tips and tricks in today's session okay so all together let me tell you you'll just uh, after this session you will be able to understand how do i easily get this four marks that's it okay so let us start what is the main question that actually haunts any student's mind okay so whenever it is reading comprehension actually few students they actually uh, get very much scared okay so they keep thinking how do i improve this reading comprehension how do i improve my skills in reading comprehension there are various ways in which you can improve these skills okay so let to begin with you can just have a preview okay you can just have a preview of the passage so as soon as you get the passage okay you see the question paper as soon as you get the question paper yeah of course for few people reading comprehension is the easiest it is the easiest but for few people it is too tough a rope to rope okay it is extremely difficult because comprehending is not actually very easy okay so there are ways in which you can improve that okay there are various ways ways in which you can improve that previewing is one such of course practice is something which you do it as a background work but when you get the question paper what do you do when you are in that situation you are already in the water so you have to know how to swim isn't it so what do you do first first you preview okay you just go through the maybe you'll just get an overall view of that uh, passage okay what is there in the passage that you will be able to understand so sometimes you try predicting also you try predicting the meaning also sometimes there will be a passage given and there will be a title also given so looking at the title you can predict what the um, passage is about okay so when you look at the passage you may not be able to identify what it is but with the title you can sometimes predict or when you have a quick reading through the passage you can also predict what is the passage all about so that you can do through prediction okay so after that you may also try skimming skimming or scanning also you can say skimming and scanning you can say so what do you do you just have to get the important words as you go on reading the passage just get the important words okay so this i'm telling if at all you are reading the passage first few people have the uh, habit of reading the passage first and then going to the question answer uh, then going to read the questions okay so in that case you just have to skim means like when you boil milk you just skim the layer like you take the top layer off so that way you just get the important points you just grasp the important points in your mind okay so that is called as skimming so that you will do then you will guess guessing is the greatest part in this trick okay so you just guess 
what is the passage about what might be the possible answer or you may also guess the question also as you read the passage you feel some point is important or some word is important so that time you'll feel yes this question related to this sentence might come or the question related to this word might come so you sometimes guess also okay then what do you do you have to paraphrase you have to paraphrase the passage paraphrasing means suppose it's a very long passage probably two or three uh, paragraphs will be given but as such in your uh, question papers usually one paragraph or at the most two paragraphs two short paragraphs will be given so whenever you come across this uh, paragraph you just have to read the paragraph then paraphrase means you have to understand read a sentence think sit and think for a while have i understood this properly have i got the correct meaning of it you just have to understand that okay so that is called as paraphrasing and you can just read the whole paragraph and you can just uh, read read in your mind so this is the meaning of it uh, tell it in your own words okay tell it in your mind in your own words so you will be able to understand it little more easily okay so maybe there are complicated words in the passage what you have understood might be something else sometimes you may not be able to guess the meaning of the passage only so that time what you should do just paraphrase it have i understood it rightly maybe you are you have not got the meaning completely but try to guess the meaning try to paraphrase it so that uh, like your usual language okay that, that will help your mind to understand the meaning of it so sometimes you don't understand the meaning then that's fine perfectly fine you just leave it just go through the passage once and leave it that is one way of doing it okay so you just have to read the passage first then try to guess the meaning okay if you don't get the meaning just paraphrase it in your mind and wherever you have not understood it just park it aside we'll come back to it later okay so what are the tips that we can uh, follow in order to crack it very easily so that is what we are going to understand now but let me tell you uh, if at all you have not practiced this uh, reading comprehension properly it may be time consuming okay so lot of time suppose uh, in an exam in a paper of uh, 80 marks in a paper of 80 marks at the most you may have to spend 5 to 8 minutes for this reading comprehension 5 to 8 minutes at the max you can spend for this reading comprehension even uh, above that if you spend it it will be time consuming and that will no way help you just for 4 marks you need not have to spend lot of time yeah of course few people will do it in a jiffy they require only seconds to do it but sometimes for few people who are not used to that kind of comprehending and all it is very difficult that is the reason like uh, whenever you were in lower grades they make you read the lesson and understand it by yourself that is the background that was given for your reading comprehension okay don't think reading comprehension will get over in your third semester only it will help you for your competitive exams also if at all you want to attempt ias ips and all there for upsc and all you will have to attempt this reading comprehension also that is the reason even when you have come to third semester degree this reading comprehension is still there okay even when you were uh, like uh, you might have started doing this reading comprehension maybe from third grade probably isn't it so from then till here it is very important for us to understand what is there in the text so that is the importance of reading comprehension so if you don't practice it well it will be time consuming so make sure you do a proper background work before you attempt the examination so start working from now on even now it is not too late you can start working now from now on okay so if not it will be time consuming okay so once when you put lot of efforts in order to understand just one and a half paragraphs then it is obviously energy draining you need lot of concentration to understand if you don't understand then you cannot answer the questions if you can't answer the questions that will have an effect on the other questions what you attempt obviously that will be energy draining so make sure you understand you read the passage properly okay then sometimes it will be informative intensive it means there will be too much of information to understand wherein you will have to do it a little slowly also okay sometimes information will be loaded each and every sentence will have at least two to three facts to understand so that will be 
too much intense information for you to understand. Okay, so that time you should be very careful. You, you will have to spend a lot of time if you don't practice it well. So these are the problems with reading comprehension, reading comprehension passages. Okay, so what you have to do, that one we are going to understand. What are the trip, what are the, sorry, what are the tips to uh, so crack it? So that we are going to understand it now. Okay, so what is the solution for this? How do I solve this reading comprehension very quickly without has without any hassle? So how to do it? You need not have to emphasize on trivialities. What is trivialities? Trivialities are nothing but they are small or maybe unimportant. Okay, or small issues or small matters you can say. Okay, you can also say unimportant. Okay, for you it might be of importance, but there it is not at all important. Okay, suppose in a passage, um, suppose um, we'll talk about Abraham Lincoln. So there is a passage that is um, given uh, wherein Abraham Lincoln was born and Abraham Lincoln's uh, uh, mom died when he was nine years old and uh, father married somebody, uh, some other lady and all these, uh, the stuff was given. So here out of these three sentences, what I told, okay, out of these three sentences, Probably uh, Abraham Lincoln was born on this uh, such and such a day. That is, yes, that is important. Fa mother died. Yes, that also you might feel it is important. Uh, his father uh, married another lady who taught him to read and write. That also may be important according to you. Okay. But the questions which are given after that, that may not at all focus on whom did the father marry or who taught him reading and writing, nothing like that, okay? So that may be very simple matter. So what should you do? I'll tell you what has to be done. So first thing is you need not have to concentrate on trivialities. You don't know which is important, which is unimportant. So leave it, just read the passage and leave it. You need not have to concentrate on two, uh, like uh, you say some sentence which is given, you need not have to concentrate on each and every sentence there. Okay, just have a reading, uh, have a glance in the of the passage that is enough for you. Do not memorize, please do not take trouble in the examination and memorize the whole stanza, I mean the whole paragraph. Okay, you need not have to remember the whole paragraph in order to answer all the questions. Okay, please do not memorize. Okay, please do not learn it by heart. Okay, just read the passage, then go to the questions directly. Then main thing is do not read the passage first. Few of us have the habit of reading the passage. So what do I do? What do what should you do? Yes, even if you have the habit of reading the passage first, it is better you go to the questions first. Because when you read the passage, you will not know what to concentrate what not to concentrate on. So what do you do? You just have to go to the questions first. Go to the questions, you will know where to concentrate because you would have already known what are the questions that are asked, isn't it? So go to the questions first, then you will know where to concentrate. So you will not spend much of time just focusing on these trivialities, that is a small issues what I said, okay? And please do not emphasize on vocabulary skills. Suppose there is a new word, do not break your head understanding that word. You need not have to struggle to understand what the meaning of that word is. Sometimes you understand it by context, sometimes you don't understand at all. Fine, that's perfectly fine, leave it. You need not have to understand each and every word that is there in the passage. Okay, so please do not overemphasize on these vocabulary skills. Sometimes when you feel that yes, this preposition is not required or this article is not required over here or there is a grammatical mistake in the passage, please do not concentrate. You need not have to do it. Okay, that is not your job in the examination. Your work is only to find answers and write it. Okay, so do not emphasize on this vocabulary skills, leave it. You don't understand, perfectly fine, leave it, go further. Okay, then do not take comprehensions that you cannot comprehend first. Go through the passage, you don't understand, leave it. Park it aside, finish answering all the other things. Okay, when you come to grammar, suppose you answer all these one mark questions, or 10 mark questions, four mark, five mark questions, all these you answer first, then come to grammar. So we tend to take up this reading comprehension first because we know that answer will be there already. We just have to search for the answers. So you need not have to go in detail. You cannot understand, leave it. 
will come back to you at the last. So answer the other things. You have active passive voice. You have one word substitutions. You have to frame sentences on your own. So all these things are there. Okay. So there are so many other things to write. So go for that first. Then come back to this reading comprehension. You need not have to attempt the passage at first. Even though it is given first, you need not have to attempt it at the in the beginning only. Okay. So leave it. Come back to it later. Then first thing you have to keep in mind is there is no, especially in the reading comprehension, there is no answer that comes from outside the passage. Okay. So there is no answer that comes from outside the passage. So make sure you have to look for the correct option. You have to look for the correct option from inside the paragraph only. Okay. So whatever is given to you, whatever question is given to you, you have to look for the answers within the passage only. So there is nothing that is going to come from outside the passage. Suppose they ask you to find the synonym of some word. Synonym is nothing but the meaning, the, the word that contains the same meaning. Okay. Suppose you are asked for that. You don't have to think too much and write. Just look for the answer within the paragraph. Okay. Though you might know so many words, you may know so many words, so many synonyms that are there for that word that is given in the question. But please do not go out of the box. Please think inside the box only. Okay. You have to look for the answer within the paragraph only. That saves a lot of time. You need not have to be, your energy will not be drained. Okay. So make sure you look for the answer within the paragraph only. Fine. Then you need not have to rely on the trigger words. What are these trigger words? So in the question, there might be one word that is given. Okay. Who made him a literate or something? Okay. So then you keep on looking for that word. Literate, literate, literate. So the same word you will be looking for. You will be waiting to search for that word. And again, how many times you read the passage? Once, twice, thrice, you are not getting that word. Please stop looking for that trigger word. Stop looking for it. What is, suppose I say, we, we just spoke about Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Who taught him? Who made him literate? Or who helped him to be literate? That means, what is literacy? Somebody who teaches uh, to read and write. Somebody who knows reading and writing is called as a literate. So, who made Abraham Lincoln literate? So, who helped him to read and write? That is given. That's why you should write. Learn one word substitution. Okay. Reading and writing. That is literacy. So, this word, had you known this word literacy, then I'm just giving a simple example. This may not be there like this in your case. You may know this word, but sometimes that the, the very simple words or very simple things actually trouble you too much. Okay. So, there. So, whenever you are asked that word, so stop looking for this uh, trigger words. You can just look for the answers. Okay. So, then you have to make notes. Yes, in the on the question paper, you're not supposed to write anything, but you can uh, you use a pencil and you can just make a note of few things. Do not mark anything in pen. You can just make a note in pencil and you can erase it later also. But before that, I'm talking about those passages which you are practicing in class. Okay, so we'll have enough practice for reading comprehension. Okay, so you have to make notes for that. Making notes whenever you... Uh, read a passage. So it is like marking important words maybe or maybe sometimes you feel yes this word can come in the question. So that also you can mark there. Okay. Suppose you have a habit of reading the passage first. Just mark the important points like Abraham Lincoln was born. Just mark the date and year. So it might come later in the question. So you you will also have a you will also develop a habit of guessing the questions. Okay. So that time you can just make notes in few places. Then sometimes you will have to concentrate on the opening and closing paragraphs. That will be most important. Sometimes suppose you have three or uh, two or three paragraphs. Okay. You will have to concentrate on the initial paragraph or maybe towards the ending of the paragraph. That is very important. Okay. Because uh, sometimes trivial matters also might have been cited in the uh, questions like they, you might have to take that as answers for questions. Okay. And that might be hiding in one corner. Okay. Sometimes we just feel that uh, the actual content of the reading passage might be there in the middle and we concentrate more on the second paragraphs in a paragraph in a reading comprehension of uh, three paragraphs. Suppose I concentrate only on the second paragraph, then I will not be, so I have not concentrated on the initial or the closing paragraph. So what happens? I miss out the most important 
uh, answer there okay then i feel yes i'm not getting the answer then suppose i have kept this reading comprehension to write in the end then i'll be so desperate to finish writing it okay i may not have enough time so what do i do yes uh, it is right and feeling like uh, yes this four marks i can get it easily and if i have to attempt it first uh, then i'll uh, that that four marks will be secure yes it is right and feeling but yes it is also important that you need not have to spend so much uh, uh, like lot of time for something which is uh, there only for less marks okay so just you just have to if at all you're doing it if at all you're uh, reading the whole passage please concentrate on each and every line okay uh, um, before i might have told that the, the trivial matters don't matter but only thing is you just have to read the passage once okay even after you read the questions you have to read the passage once but when you read the questions first and then go to the passage you will concentrate on wherever it is required okay you need not have to concentrate unnecessary in unnecessary places okay so you just have to concentrate whenever you are reading the passage you just have to concentrate on opening and closing paragraphs also okay then you just have to constantly question see first if at all you are reading the passage this question doesn't arise at all okay so suppose you read the question first you read the question first and then go back to the passage so those questions will already be there in your mind okay those questions will already be there in your mind so whenever you are reading the passage so those questions keep coming to your mind isn't it so when those questions come so as you read the passage you'll just start finding the answers okay so since those questions are already in your mind you'll just find the answers and you'll you know where to concentrate okay so that will be very easy for you so while reading the passage you will constantly recall the questions so which is very easy for you which is very less time consuming okay you need not have to spend too much of time in uh, reading the passage uh, like getting the answers there okay so these are the most important tricks that you have to follow whenever you are uh, going for a reading comprehension okay so hope this uh, session was uh, very useful to you okay so i would like you to uh, practice some reading comprehension okay then come back and ask me any doubt if at all you have i'm always there to help you okay so let us meet again in our next session which is all about our question paper pattern we are going to solve the previous year's question papers okay so let us meet again children in our next session so till then keep practicing keep learning i am always there to help you let us meet again in our next session so hope this session was very helpful to you keep learning children see you soon take care bye bye